Hey everyone, my name's Jay Mauter and welcome back to my shop. Today, I'm going to be using the multifunction router base to make a custom template to create three Peruvian walnut charcuterie boards. Before we get into making this custom template, I'd like to invite you guys, please subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you'll never miss one of our great videos. All right guys, let's get into it. To get started, I cut down a piece of 3 8 inch thick Baltic birch plywood to 29 and 3 quarter inches square. I then use the center scale of a 36 inch rule to mark center. And then I mark it 5 inches and 7 inches to the left and right of the center mark. Once I had my marks, I traced those lines across the sheet using my TS32 to make a grid. At the time, I knew I wanted to make a unique charcuterie board although I didn't really know where I was going with this. But for me, drawing a grid really helps to get the creative juices flowing. With my grid in place, I marked two inches in from the center line on all four sides. Now that I had some symmetrical lines established, I just grabbed my compass and started drawing a pattern that I thought looked cool. I wanted something unique, something that I haven't seen before. But that's what I love about the multifunction router base. The fact that you can be so creative when coming up with new ideas. As long as you can draw it, you can cut it. Using a compass while drawing things out is a huge help. It gives you that pivot point so you know exactly where to insert your trammel pin on your multifunction router base. And if you're sitting there wondering, what in the world is a trammel pin? We'll just keep watching, it'll all make sense, I promise. Next, I used a center punch to mark all the holes I pivoted from. This gives me a better starting point so that my drill bit doesn't drift when I drill these holes all the way through. Now to protect my workbench, I laid down a piece of foam. Then I used an eighth inch drill bit to drill all the holes for the trammel pin. With my charcuterie board template all mapped out, it's time to get started. First, I have to figure out which of these four trammel points on the base I need to use to route my arc. I started by just hovering the trammel point over the hole and checking to see if my router bit could reach the line that I want to cut. Once I saw that it'll work, I screwed in my trammel pin with an Allen key and then inserted it into the pivot hole in the plywood. All that's left to do before cutting is to dial in my router using the micro adjuster. The micro adjust on this tool is phenomenal. It operates very smoothly and makes setting up my cuts a much more enjoyable experience. With the router unplugged, I like to turn the router bit so that I know that the top dead center of the bit is lining up with where I want to cut. Now it's time to start routing. I'm using a spiral upcut bit in my router. I like to start my plunge somewhere in the middle of the arc and then sneak up to the line where the arc transitions. Once I'm finished with my first arc, I can take my router base out of the trammel point. I like to use a painter's knife when removing this because the trammel pin is such a perfect fit for the eighth inch hole that it's sometimes difficult to remove. But that's not a bad thing because you want your trammel pin to have a snug fit so there's no drifting while routing your arc. With the first arc finished, I moved on to routing the other three matching arcs. Always check to make sure your router bit lines up with your arc before cutting. Sometimes I had to make very minor adjustments but it was so simple thanks to the micro adjuster. As you can see, this router base provides you with a ton of control. Most times I had just one hand on the base and the other on my dust collection hose. I really like how easy it is to use this because it lets me focus more on the cut and less on losing control of the router. With the four larger arcs done, I moved on to cutting the four smaller ones. But before I could start routing, I had to adjust my trammel pin so I could create a smaller arc. 
Then once I was set up, it was simple. I just followed the circle around until it connected with the other arc. Now you may be thinking, why not just use a bandsaw and sand the line? Well, for one, it's not going to come out nearly as perfect as it will with this router base. Your transitions from arc to arc will be sloppier and the four sides won't be symmetrical. With the multifunction router base, the edges come out smooth and dead on accurate. There is no wasted time spent sanding to the line and trying to correct any imperfections created by a bandsaw. With my template ready to go, I laid out some Peruvian walnut and then marked out where I'm gonna make my cuts. Then I broke each piece down at the miter saw to get them ready for milling. Next, I milled up all of the boards using my joiner, planer, and table saw. With the boards all squared up, I glued up the panels and let them sit for a few hours. Once the panels were ready, I took them out of the clamps and began tracing my template onto each panel. Then I took each one over to the bandsaw where I cut close to the line to remove the bulk of the material. Next, I added some double-sided tape to my template and then lined it up on my rough cut panel to get it ready for the router table. Here I'm using a flush trim bit to finish cutting the material so that it is a perfect match to the template. Now I can remove the template and double-sided tape and head back to the router table for some finishing touches. I installed a cove bit in my router table to route a groove on the bottom of the board. This will give me a nice place to slide my fingers in to pick up the board. Then I added a slight round over to the top to break any remaining sharp edges. With the charcuterie boards all shaped, I sanded them with my orbital sander to 220 grit, as well as hand sanded the edges. Now all that's left to do is apply some mineral oil and my charcuterie boards are all wrapped up. Well guys, that about wraps it up. I have all three of my Peruvian walnut charcuterie boards finished and it was much faster to make a template using the multifunction router base rather than cutting them out with a bandsaw. I really like the unique shape of this charcuterie board as well. I got inspired to do this because me and my wife like to have different nuts, fruits and cheeses and stuff all in different bowls. So I thought if I could put four different bowls and a main spread in the center, that would be good. And I like it. I'm also happy I have this template now. So if I wanna remake this board a thousand times, I can. Now after watching this video, if you think the multifunction router base is right for you and you'd like to order one, there's a link right below this video to our website where you can purchase. And if you learned something today, please don't forget to hit that like button below. We'd really appreciate it. Thanks so much guys for watching and I'll see you next time.